<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Alright, so let's go over to the navigation room at the upper left corner there, but I'm just gonna run through everything for the most part now. I just need to get myself to the uh, upper place here and then I'll just pretty much be able to run all... well, mostly. Ah, mostly I said. <laughs> Mostly over to the left side. Yeah, it should be... Oh, oh wait a second. Can I, like... Oh, I can't shortcut through there. What a shame. What a total shame. <laughs> I'm not cutting ahead here because, uh, they're... Because, you know, Metroid games, they might have, uh, other stuff along the way. Let's just put it that way. Potentially, maybe, might be. Anyway, I need to go up there now. Out of my way, please. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Alright, we are good to go now. I'm not going to save just yet. <laughs> Here we go, navigation room! Man, that goes by quick. <laughs> Atmospheric stabilizers online, sweet. But many X have already made it to other sectors. Oh boy, it seems. In particular, Sector 2, Tro, the tropical habitat, shows abnormalities. I suspect the X entered the sector with the help of our unseen saboteur. He or it may be in Tro now. Samus, get over there. We need to put an end to this. Yeah, my ends. Yeah, it's clear. It's pretty good. Yeah, I, was, I heard it was already there before, actually, when I was uh, checking ahead and whatnot. So, yeah. <laughs> so, let's go up the elevator. Oh, and by the way, that, that center elevator still won't be active. As I listened to the briefing, my thoughts turned to Adam. The real Adam understood me. Well, he, he would end orders by saying, Any objections, lady? He knew I wouldn't disagree. That was just his way of noting our trust. I wonder if I can trust this computer, too. I do wonder. I do wonder. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> so, this way. Now, on the, the central computer, I mean, the central elevator that I'm thinking of here, yeah, you can't go up it. So, let's go straight over to two. Yeah, I'm just shooting doors off screen as it saves time. <laughs> Alrighty, number two, Tro, the tropical habitat. Yeah, it's like, a, the letter's like an abbreviation of sorts. So, let's see here, we're locked in so we gotta hear the words of wisdom. I have learned the identity of our mystery saboteur. Samus, is an X mimicking you? I... I clicked through that too fast. I have named it the SAX. I believe the SAX came from the capsule containing your infected suit parts. It used a power bomb to escape the quarantine bay. That explosion breached a capsule containing all the X that started this disaster. But the X SAX is definitely our biggest worry right now. The SAX is mimicking you at full power. You can't face it. If you see the SAX, just run. Don't think about fighting. We are still very vulnerable to cold and unexpected side effects of the Metroid vaccine. This is what I explained earlier, by the way. <laughs> or at least that was. Like Metroids, you can be frozen by an ice beam. Of course, the SAX is armed with the ice beam. <laughs> Stay away. If you see it, just run. Headquarters say they have bomb data ready in the data room. Bombs will help you find a way out if the SAX traps you. The data room is here, but it's sealed by a level 1 hatch. You have to find the security room and release the level 1 locks. But per safety protocols, it's not marked on the map. What? This is dumb. <laughs> You'll have to find it on your own. Somehow, Samus. So, first find the security room and unlock level 1 hatches. Then go to the data room and get that bomb data. Yeah, it's clear. Alright, let's go, I suppose. <laughs> Despite the SAX running around here. Yeah, the usual combination of save and recharge rooms are there. And alright! Brand new area! It doesn't really look tropical to me, now does it? <laughs> but it is, and these are zeros. They aren't very strong enemies, but they're everywhere and they're kinda... kinda in your way. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, oh. Oh. Um... Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be here just yet, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, um, that, that's something that I need to freeze, actually. <laughs> yeah, 
So yeah, I'll come back to you later. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> later when I can do so. Alright, so let's move on here. With the groove on and the... Oh, oh look at that, it's a secret floor. Who, who would have guessed that there was a secret floor by two suspiciously out of place blocks? <laughs> Yeah, the, the early game stuff is pretty easy to figure out intuitively, like, you know, searching for stuff and whatnot. And, uh, you know what? I probably, yeah, I probably shouldn't go in this direction just yet because I know the navigation room is the other way, so let's just let's flop back this way. <laughs> and take this lower route this time. Yeah, I'm kind of going in, I guess you could say circles in a way, but not necessarily circles of the game's volition, it's, it's of my own derps. <laughs> <laughs> this is a blue security hatch, level one, can't open it just yet, so this way we go, and this way is the way to go for sure, in fact we're almost there already, <laughs> believe it or not, uh, there's the security hatch we're actually going to be coming out of very shortly here, but uh, I'm just going to, it's going to be a little bit more here of a trek. With zeros everywhere, and here's the security room. <laughs> yeah, even though, yeah, I'll show you. This map here, it, it's, it, he can't mark it on the map, but there is a spot on the map for the security room. Can you ex explain this to me? I mean, it's clearly showing the, the, uh, the connected rooms and everything. Perhaps I shouldn't be questioning the game logic, but anyway, let's stand here and open those security hatches like a pro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's move on here and go to the actual security hatch type place here, because we need to get those bombs. Because those bombs are an upgrade, and when you see an upgrade, you gotta get that upgrade, because come on now, upgrades are the way of life in the Samus is vocabulary. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying here, but Samus always seems to lose her stuff each game, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now back this way that I didn't want to go earlier. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh yeah, I didn't really give the name of those guys. I believe they're key hunters, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And uh, by the way, this is uh, something. <laughs> so I mentioned that for a little bit later, and so is that, by the way. Anyway, let's just go flop through here, because now we can open the blues! Yeah, we already seen me. I mean, you already seen me open the blues anyway. And there we go! The bomb data is downloaded! It's so simple! <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that we got the bombs, we can actually, you know, act get stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, is it open? What the, what the heck? What? What is what? What? Uh, he? Oh, what was that? It wasn't that key hunter. It was something, something more sinister. Anyway, let's break our way through here. Cause there's a missile upgrade. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah, the hint is that wall over there. And now. Let's go and uh, break this wall. Even though it's not a wall that you break, it's the floor! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that, that one surprised me the first time through because they, they clearly hint that you're supposed to drop a bomb by the wall there, but you end up dropping through the floor instead. Oh, and you also notice that uh, exploding yourself with a bomb will make you pop up in the air like that. It's not the most expected of things, but <laughs> that, that's what happens. <laughs> I mean, maybe, well, it's expected if you've played. Uh, you know, Metroid game before, but <laughs> it's just not its just not the most expected of things, and yeah. I guess they're expecting you to, like, figure out that your own bombs are gonna propel you like that by accidentally bombing yourself or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, uh, there is an upgrade up there, but I can't really... Well, I could get that if I sequence broke a little bit, but yeah, and I think this is the point where they expect you to do the bomb jump thing. See that? See that? Yeah. You just do that. Hold left, and there you go. <laughs> and ex explode this. And by the way, um, stuff that you can destroy with a uh, bomb will be marked with like a circle, like a... Let's see if I can shoot this one and see. Um, how do I get... Uh, it's not going to show me, is it? Well, <laughs> later on they're going to uh, give you a way to see these sorts of hidden blocks along the way. Um, 
and they're marked with different symbols, basically. Anyway, let's try and yeah, I don't know, carefully hop down here and there, because <laughs> clearly we have a invasion problem here. Well, actually, not really. Well, actually, they are because they're kind of kind of inhabited by the X and oh, you can't do that. <laughs> not that one, at least. All right, yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do it like this. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> Tying myself like Bomberman. And plop down here. And plop down there. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What am I killing you for? I don't know. I don't actually think there's anything here. There's just a little detour off down to the side here. And uh, obviously now we can't go back. Oh no! Oh no! Don't be afraid though. It's alright. See, hey, something that got I didn't shoot it quick enough. <laughs> Uh, can I like... Mm, probably? Yes, that's what I thought. Um, I don't remember if there's anything... No, there's not. Okay, I just want to check because there's blank hole and yeah. Oh, I hate those. They're always put in a sh like a tight area and yeah. They're known as D, G, J or something like that. D, E, E, G, E, E, G, A, it's spelled. I never knew how to pronounce that, but yeah. <laughs> They're a very, very annoyingly placed enemy, typically. It almost makes me want to, like, missile them as soon as I see them, just because they're just that annoying. Oh! I don't want to fall on there just yet. Oh, it's too late now. And, uh, see this, this blue one here? It's super powered. <laughs> That's because it's got a red axe. Oh, what? What? Oh, that one doesn't have a red axe. Well, whenever you see a more powerful enemy, it usually has a red axe. And that one didn't have a red axe. <laughs> Okay, and I uh, guess that was the trap. You fall down there, and yeah. Oh well, we're okay. <laughs> All is still well. Hmm. So we got ourselves back in more technologically advanced zone. So, well, you see these uh, glue blobby thingies with spikes on top? They're puyos. Not the puyo puyo from the puzzle game. Oh no, 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 these are. These jump up in the air and they try and land on you. By the way, now, now it looks like that we're not going to be able to get up there. Well, we could do that with bomb jumps if you know how to bomb jump, but the proper way how to do that is to look around on the floor here. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty hidden. <laughs> but at least there isn't much of an area if you would have to bomb and, you know, try stuff. Uh, if you're actually doing this for your first time through the game, you're going through a blind and whatnot. Um, there's a save point here, which I should probably use, actually, soon. Um, well, I should, I should actually show you what these guys do. Yeah, they they, <laughs> they do that, and they swoop down onto you from above, and it's it can be disastrous. Okay, maybe not that disastrous. They aren't that dangerous. All right, here's the save room that I was looking for, which means that it's time for me to end off the part here. Hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I continue my trek through the tropical sector to